Now let's move on to another breaking story. New information links the murder suicide yesterday at UCLA to a killer from Minnesota. Los Angeles police tell us a kill list was found inside a home in Brooklyn Park, along with the body of a woman. Police say it's likely Minuk Sarkur killed the woman before driving to Los Angeles and UCLA, where he's accused of shooting an engineering professor before taking his own life. Right now, police in Brooklyn Park are holding a press conference. We want to take you live to Brooklyn Park right now and listen in. Was created by the shooter in the UCLA incident. Brooklyn Park officers responded to the 2400 block of Pearson Parkway at a residence and made a welfare check where they did locate an adult female who was found deceased from apparent gunshot wound. Subsequently, a homicide investigation is being conducted with the assistance of the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office and the Hennepin County Medical Examiner's Office. There is, again, very limited information I can provide beyond what I have told you at this point, being that it is very early in the investigation. What I can tell you is we have multiple detectives working on this case, and we're working with Los Angeles Police Department to coordinate our efforts. Do you know anything about the relationship between the shooter and the victim? I do not. Any early indications on how long this woman's body was inside that house? What I can tell you is we believe at this point that she was deceased prior to the UCLA shooting. But to the, uh, because we're so early in the investigation, uh, the timing, we don't know exactly at this point. And no other calls have come in this week on her well-being and no one heard any noise other than... That's correct. No other calls this week to that home. So that is Brooklyn Park De Deputy Police Chief Mark Bruley, uh, briefing reporters right now. Very limited information coming out of Brooklyn Park. Our Ashley Roberts is live in the Brooklyn Park neighborhood. Ashley, we know that police have been working on this in Brooklyn Park since early this morning. Yeah, that's right, Jason. Brooklyn Park police have spent hours in this Pearson Parkway neighborhood. Residents here telling us they were here late last night, and we also saw much of the same this morning. This afternoon, Brooklyn Park police telling us they found a woman dead inside of a home on this block from what appears to be a gunshot wound somehow connected to the UCLA incident. Now, you just went to that news conference live, but I want to reiterate some of what we just heard a few moments ago. Authorities with Brooklyn Park police say the Los Angeles Police Department Asked them to do a welfare check at a home in the 2400 block of Pearson Parkway. That request related to the UCLA shooting. When officers arrived, they found a woman who had died from an apparent gunshot wound. They believe the shooting happened before the UCLA incident. Police cleared the scene around 9 a.m. Shortly after, three people arrived at the home. When asked if they were connected to the UCLA suspected shooter, they didn't have much to say. The woman you see there in the blue shirt would not comment about the specific relationship, only saying there is a connection. Before walking into the home, she said, quote, pray for us, just please pray for us. The Brooklyn Park Police Department is working with the Los Angeles Police Department on this homicide investigation. As you just heard a few moments ago at that news conference, it's still very on in the investigation, so they're not releasing a lot of information. Again, when asked about the relationship between the victim found here at a home this morning and the suspected UCLA shooter, that is unknown at this time, or at least they are not releasing that information to us. And Jason, Ashley, Kim. just within the last minute or two, Brooklyn Park Police saying that it looks like that woman who was found dead there was on the hit list of the UCLA shooter. So that is all we know about that relationship. Thank you, Ashley. We'll continue asking questions there. Los Angeles police are telling CBS News that after killing the woman in Brooklyn Park, Sarkour drove to California with two guns in the car. And that kill list that I mentioned included the names of his two victims and another UCLA professor. That professor is okay. Let's talk about William Klug. He was a mechanical engineering professor at the university. Sources tell CBS News Sarkour had had a real beef with him. He posted a blog post since deleted in which he essentially accused the professor of stealing his ideas, stealing his computer code. Friends say Klug was a dedicated husband and a father with a 10 year old son. Students at UCLA who all had to go on lockdown have returned to campus today with the exception of the engineering classes. Those are canceled for the rest of the week.